Hello! I saw one of my friends from high school do just a vlog about what's going on in her life, and it just made me smile. And I was like, wow. Um, I wanted to be a vlogger, like, sophomore year of high school, and I really tried. And I was like, hey everybody, and talked to my, like, millions of followers, but I just, it was literally just for me and my friends. And so, then it just got really stressful, and like, already doing this video, saying hello, I took it three times. So, I'm gonna decide not to retake things a million times and uh, just realize that it doesn't have to be perfect or anything and that it's not for everyone ever, it's just for me and my friends and my family to just keep them updated on what's going on in my life in a video, blog, platform, blog. This is my second semester of my third year of college and this is when the whole like corona virus shutdown is happening and I know it's super serious um, and it's different for different communities um, but Martin is a pretty small town and so a lot of things are shutting down and my school shut down um, and we're doing online classes and so um, that's what I should be doing now but I'm making a video <laughs> things are just changing a little bit and I've only done online classes when I did dual enrollment in high school and it was terrible I was pretty pessimistic about doing online things but I've done it I did it yesterday and I'm doing it today and like it hasn't been terrible. People have asked me how it is, and I don't really know because I've literally been doing it for like one day. But also, I haven't had a quiz or an exam or anything, so I don't really know. But hopefully, it's okay. I am taking, I think, six classes right now, and one of them is an anatomy lab. And so, yesterday, I had to do some urinalysis test a lab online, and um, my lab instructor analyzed his own pee and we just watched him because we were supposed to analyze our pee in lab but we are shut down things are just a little different <laughs> that's okay i work at campus recreation and since the school has shut down like in-person things um campus rec is also closed and so i am not have i don't do that job i lead fitness classes on campus i'm out that job but i've talked to my college pastor and his awesome wife and um, Ginger, his wife, works at this job company who allowed me to get another job. So, um, I am working today at 1 to 5. I'm going to start working Tuesdays and Thursdays 1 to 5, as of now, at um, some, like, moving company in the city next over. They are working on building new hotels, and they have me... They're gonna have me like move furniture and like hang picture frames and crap. And so I'm excited about that because I love doing stuff like that. Today will be good. Today's gonna be a good day and it has been good. I don't know what the semester really holds because it's gonna be very different than any other semester I've had, but it might be cool to document it on videos and just look back on it when I'm older and one day have kids and they can watch these videos. Hello. Oh, I just fell off my porch. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, anyway, I finished doing classwork and got my mail. I'm subscribed to USA Today so I can know what's happening in the world. Um, and I'm going to get some lunch. Um, probably from like McDonald's dollar menu. Um, and then I am going to, or I am headed to Union City to work. Yeah. Cool, so I just went inside and filled out all of the paperwork in the world. Um, and I am going to where I'm going. This is where I'll be working. I went out the wrong side. I don't even know where I am. Y'all, my boots are so loud. Success, day one was done. Super fun. I got to meet a bunch of cool people. I built a bunch of headboards for this hotel, all the hotel bedrooms. Um, we finished the second floor, which is cool. Um, and then when I come back on Thursday, 
basically it's just clean up and then a bunch of different crew comes in and does stuff. So I don't know if I have this job for the rest of the semester, if it's literally just like a day job kind of thing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I built headboards and uh, built chairs and just hauled a bunch of boxes and mattresses and box frames or box springs. Um, yeah, it was good. Definitely didn't think I'd be doing this a week ago, but I'm doing it and I like it. So woo. I am back home. I'll be back there on Thursday and I'm gonna take a shower because I am dusty. I'm also going to make a lot of food because it is 5.23 and I've had two McChickens. So I have leftover Chinese chicken from Sunday, holla. And um, I don't know why I'm using a fork actually. Um, and I'm about to watch a show called Atypical. It's a show on Netflix that is about this boy with autism and like how he navigates life. Um, and it's awesome. I finished New Girl, so I was like, I have to watch something else. And Andre, my, my one of my roommates, Andre, told me about Atypical. And um, I've been watching it for like a week, and I'm already on season two. Taking a quick pause from Atypical to show you that I'm eating the rest of this thing of moose tracks. And also telling you that I turned on the fan because um, I live in a house that is born, that was born and that was built in 1901, and it is currently 2020. It's great, it just needs some love, and it just needs some um, like animal repellent. An animal definitely died in our walls, and so every now and then, you just get a waft of like dying animal, um, and it smells bad. And sometimes it's in my kitchen, and that's the worst, because the kitchen is supposed to be a cozy place ready for food or coffee, not dying squirrel. It is now 10 o'clock, and I am going to bed because I am very tired. Andre's sister, Angie, is in town, which is super awesome. And so we went and saw the movie Onward, and it's a new Disney movie. It's really good. Go see it if you haven't seen it. it made me cry many times. Yep, gonna go to bed. Today was a good day. Corona vlog one. Not gonna call these Corona vlogs. That's not okay. Um, vlog one.